Alright guys, we're back at Smash Fishing. About to do the first kayak trip on this channel. We both got them all rigged up, ready to go. We're down the beach. We got Sam with us. It's like the Bahamas out here. It's absolutely beautiful, guys. I'm still a bit sunburnt, so I've got the cowboy hat on. A bit of crocodile dundee on the go. What we're going to be doing today is lure fishing for bass, and we'll be dropping down, anchoring on some reefs for some wrasse, hopefully. So we'll see what's out there, guys. Should be a mixed bag, so stay tuned. It's smash fishing. At the moment, guys. Just going to get some bait, as we'll be looking for some wrasse and stuff like that today. We're looking under the rocks, just trying to find any sort of crab really. We'll be breaking them in half, using them for the bass. Some big bass where we're going, so hopefully we can hook into a few. There's a good chance of some bass, all that sort of stuff. We want a mixed bag today, so hopefully we can get them. As long as we can find some bait. <laughs> Woo, stay tuned guys. I'll let Starting you know when we get a few crabs now guys. About just about enough bait that we need. So that'll be good for all the rats. We'll be cutting the bigger ones in half. Always good to put a little bit of wet weed on top of them. And that'll keep them alive longer because it's a blistering hot day today. We've got 26 degrees, not much wind. Sam's over there playing with his kayak. <laughs> so stay tuned, guys. And I catch up to Sam, get a few more crabs. And then we'll be right out on the vessel. Hopefully slaying some bass and some rats, baby. Woo! It's an absolutely beautiful day today, guys. Woo! Haven't been out on the kayak in a little while now. So it's about time we start doing this stuff on the channel. I'll show you some different species, hopefully, some different techniques of fishing. We'll be doing some trolling today, some bait fishing. Woo! It's just nice to be out. Sam looks like he's gonna go in. <laughs> what I'm using to start with, guys. It's just my normal spin rod, my Sonic 9 foot, 15 to 40 gram, Pen Battle 2, loaded with 20 pound braid. And I got about, I got a longer leader on today because I'm going to be trolling, so I don't have to cast. And I've just got a weedless lure because we're going to be fishing through bootlace weed at the moment. We're in about six feet of water or so. So what I'm going to do is plunge this out, start trolling. Hopefully we get them guys. That's all the gist of it is. So let a little bit of line out. Get it in the holder. And off you go. And then on your way to your mark, you just paddle out. And hopefully the drag starts screaming. <laughs> Water is absolutely gin clear guys. This is what we're fishing through for the bass. All through amongst this lot. It looks absolutely ideal. Going for a small passageway at the moment, guys, in between two rocks. There's a lot of weed and stuff underneath us. Woo! We've come to the reefs now, guys. Got the anchor ready. Just going to set it all up. We're about, we're about 20 yards off the actual mark. So what we're going to do is drop anchor. And we're going to keep ourselves just on the edge of this on the edge of this reef. There we go, we're all locked off. Get that over there. And then what will happen is we're gonna drift forward and we're just gonna fish with crab all the way through the gullies and stuff. And hopefully we can hook a few fish, guys. We're just after anything at the moment just because it's a bit slow. The tides are really, really high. Oh, I just seen a rocky. <laughs> There's fish here, guys. Yeah, it's a really, uh, it's a spring tide at the moment. So we're struggling just as the tide's gone out. We want that tide to be zipping in really. So what we're fishing with is hardback crab, like so. I'll be snipping mine in half, straight into a jig head. 
And because we're only fishing in six feet of water here, I'll be just dropping, vertically jigging straight below. And hopefully, we can get a fish to bite, guys. Be nice to see. Sam's just setting himself up. I'll give you a little shot. I'm doing with these guys. It's pretty simple. Take off the old scary eel. Pop on a small 16 ounce jig head. 16 grams, sorry. This is an easy way of fishing for wrasse instead of changing your setup from paternosters and stuff like that. Uh, you gotta find a nice size crab. That's a good one. Go like so. Get the claws, give them a break off, bit of chum in the water. And all I need, all you need to do is crush it, pull it in half. You have two halves like so. Get the first half on the hook. And hopefully, that's all it is guys. Just like that. We're not after the small fish. We want anything over three pound plus really. It's a lot, it's a lot of rocky ground here. Just half a crab at a time is all you need. Ah, oh, fish on guys, fish on. Big fish, come on. Straight on the jig head, baby. This is what we wanted. Oh, what a fight. <laughs> you see that go, mate? On the jig head, half a crab, baby. That's what we want, guys. Just get myself a little bit more organized. There you go, first fish of the trip, guys. Nice ballon wrasse. That was on the one ounce jig head like I just showed you. Look at that, that's beautiful that. Absolutely stunning. We're gonna be keeping a few of the wrasse today for pot bait for Captain Dano at Inglorious. If you wanna check his channel out, it's Inglorious Fishing. He does a lot of crab pots and lobster pots. So he'd appreciate some fish. So that one will be staying behind with me. Got my other half a crab here guys. Gonna smack that on. Hopefully get a few more. Next Stay bait tuned. is on guys. I'm gonna turn the camera a little bit so you might be able to see. Hopefully, hopefully we can get a replay of that from the last time. I am literally just anchored in the same spot. I'm just lowering it straight to the bottom, just above the weed. Just where the fish can see it. Smack, whoa, made me jump. <laughs> Getting bites already guys, bites already. Come on. Fish on guys, fish on. That's a better one. Oh, just gonna turn the camera towards me guys. We got some drag going. Oh, this is action, baby. He's in the snags. He's in the snags. Just got to wait for him to pull himself. Oh, he's coming. You got to just keep constant pressure and hopefully he'll pull himself out. Woo! I went like a steam train. Yeah, I've got loads, mate. I'm just going to let the slack off. Hopefully he'll swim out. He's still there. This is a nice fish this one guys. What he's done is he's taken me right in the snags. I might have to zip my anchor off. So what I'm gonna do now is just unclip my anchor. Oh, he's still going. I'll leave that float and I'm gonna go hunting. Come on, let's go. Oh, he's out, he's out guys, he's out. Come on, let's go, let's go. Oh, he's a beast. I got a big one, Sam. Woo! Check this one out, guys, look at that for a slab. Woohoo! pandemonium on the kayak. <laughs> I'm just gonna get myself away from the rocks, guys. And I'll get you a better show. Woo, rats fishing, baby. I'm reversing myself up to my boy now, guys, and using my camera as my guide. 
This is a stonker ras, this one. Woo! Absolutely lovely. Come on, where are you? Sam's just popping over to give me a hand and he'll take a few crab for himself. Hopefully slay a few himself. There's not much batter, there's not much on the bass front at the moment. The conditions are horrible for them. So we thought we'll entertain it ourselves and you guys with a bit of uh, a bit of rass fishing. I'm gonna reel my slacking because just on the edge of that reef they are, mate. Is it? Yeah. Check this one out. We we'll get you a show set, guys. Just getting organised. That's a stonker. That is a stonker. Look at that one. That's what you call a rass, guys. That's what we want on smash fishing. All on a little size one jig head, 16 gram. Hell yeah. We're just gonna get a few pictures, guys, and we get you a release. Gonna get this fish on hook guys, we've got a few pictures now, that's all the hook is. A strong little, it's just a savage gear head. Oh, oh fuck a spiny. One last show, that's a good three pound bass that. Absolute stunner fish. I'm gonna put it over this side. Actually I'll push Sam away a little bit, I'll get you a better show. Once he starts kicking guys, he's been out of the water a little bit. If you don't survive, it'll be pot bait. It's always best to revive your fish as best you can. They're, they're beautiful fish, these bass, and they fight. In personal opinions, I reckon these big ones fight better than bass. There you go. He's going down slowly, and he's gone, guys. Let's go get some more. <laughs> With big crabs like this one, guys, I'll just give you a little show of him. First of all, just take the claws off so you don't get a nasty nip. It's always worth breaking the back leg and just pulling it like so, just in case any are a peeler and you can drop those down for anything. And big crabs like that, give them a crunch. That's all I do, break a chunk off, stick it in there, get it on the hook as best you can. What it is is the scent attracts them as well. Bits like this, just throw in the water. Get this last leg on. Yeah, that's more like it. Perfect little crab bait. Fish are biting quite often now, guys. Come on. Oh, just missed him. <laughs> and get another bait on. They're stripping the hooks like no tomorrow at the moment. As you can see. We might need to go back down the beach for some more crabs, sir. Um. All right, I'm going all out big bait, guys. I'm going to stick this whole massive crab on. Hope for a nice six pounder. This area we spear fish as well, and we, we do get a lot of fish here. We know the wrasse are here. We know the bass are, they, they, the bass will be here as the tide comes in. There's a lot, of be, a lot of people around the beach at the moment, so we're not really bass fishing. We mainly just want to play around. Bit of crab bait. A little bit with the lures. Hopefully got, get you guys some good content. Whoa, that's a big one. That is a big one. That didn't even hit the bottom guys and that absolutely steam trained me. Woo! My rod is doubled. Oh, look at that one, Sam. That's a beast. Come on. I hope you can see this all right, guys. I'm trying to get you the best shot I can. Look at that for a chunker. Woo! Pulling them in now. Trying to get you the best shots I can at the moment, guys. There's another absolute stonker. Look at the pretty collars on that fish. Absolutely beautiful. Getting rebated, guys. Sam's first Sam to pop up with me. Because uh, I seem to have hit a little gold mine around here. That was an absolutely massive crab. All I did is pull the shell off. Didn't even hit the bottom and wham. So what I'm doing now is as all fishermen do when they start catching, they want big baits for the big fish. Woo! The setup I'm using is a Pen Battle 2 on a 15 to 40 gram Sonic SK3 Extra lure rod. This is the one I use for bass fishing all the time. More than capable of this sort of fishing. 20 pound braid. 
to a 20 pound leader or 15 would do equally as good you know and that's all you need really and you can enjoy some serious fishing that that I couldn't believe how well that fish just completely steam trained me then oh another bite I turn the camera sorry about the uh, blackout Something wants to go. Oh, that's a big one, guys. Look at the bend. Oh, come on, get out. What's he got me under? Little bugger. Gonna pull myself forward a bit, guys. He's got me right in there somewhere. Oh, here he comes! Here he comes! That's a better fish. Come on! Oh, look at that chunk. That's a different color on this one, guys. Check that one out. And they're all a good stamp of fish. These. Car, get your line down there, Sam. Hell yeah! This is what we come for. Gonna get myself a little bit more composed, guys. Swing the camera around, get you a better view. There's the fish. This one's a nice size green one, this. There you go, guys. It's another one going to Captain Dano. Woo! As you can see, if I move my foot, I've got a good three pound fish here. I haven't knocked any on the head yet, so I'm so excited. <laughs> but hey, hi. There you go, get you a better view now guys. That's a nice camo green on that. Absolute stunner. Whoa! I've been spined I don't know how many times at the moment. But hey ho, it's all worth it for a bit of ass. <laughs> I'm gonna get rebated guys. At the end of this video, we'll give you a show of the catch that we're gonna give to Captain Dan. I run away fish guys, he just jumped out the boat. <laughs> I just pulled my anchor up and a little tow rag just gone for it. Oh no, he's gone, is he gone? Ah, fair play to him. He deserves to live, guys. <laughs> oh my God, I need to learn to knock fish out now. But hey, hi. <laughs> oh, we're having the right blast doing this, guys. Absolute fun, this is. Oh. What we're doing is just going, we're going backwards a bit because the fish I'm catching are right behind me like this. So we go back a bit, set the anchor again, get ourselves sorted. Hopefully, we can get into them a little bit more. I'm in, guys. I just sight casted this mass. Come on. Oh, come on. It's hard to find. He's in a kayak. Come on. Whoa, look at the size of this one. Oh, come on. Look at that. Come on. Let's get a bit of slack, guys. Get a bit of slack. Boy, that's how it's done, guys. Woo! Get myself a little bit more composed. Oh, I'm getting a bit hyper at the moment. Oh, this is so fun. I'm just going to move the camera to me. There we go, guys. There's another good one. I watched this one eat my crab. <laughs> Absolutely outstanding. Just drop the last bait down again. Whoa. The fish are still twitching. You can't beat a bit of ras fishing, guys. They give up such a good scrap, you know. I think they fight just as hard as the bass do, eh, Sam? Yeah. That first, you just had a massive, you had a knock then. This is one of our spear fishing grounds. We come here. Well, when we start spear fishing, which should be soon, hopefully bring that to the channel as this well. This fish eats it, guys. I'm gonna shit my pants. This is a big wrath. Oh my days, come on! Come on, he's got me in the rock. Oh, he's got me in the rocks, guys. I was watching this one. Well, it might not have been this one, but there was a fripping monster down there. I swear, like Tyrannosaurus just wrecks his fricking ugly double. I don't even know if I've still got this fish on or not. Oh, he's 
steam train me, didn't they? Just, oh, there he is. Oh, he's in a hole. He's in the weeds, guys. I've got, oh, come on. I'm gonna lock up on him a little bit more. Oh, he was gonna, come on. There we go, guys, we got another one. Woo! That took some getting out, eh? And another fine specimen right there, guys. Oh. I'm just gonna get myself organized. I've got spines in the legs. I've got bloody all sorts going on at the moment. Sam's there pissing himself, taking the mickey out of me. That's gotta be close to the biggest one. Or, I don't know, they're all quite average, aren't they? They're all average big ones, but there's one down there that was an absolute goliath. It is a beast. Now to get this one on the hook, guys, I'm gonna release this fish. I'll give you a little shove, move the camera down for you. Get him unhooked. Give you one last show. And dive him in, baby. Woo! Let's go get some more. See, there's plenty more people out on the kayaks and stuff today, guys. Absolutely brilliant day for it. And the camera on just in case I catch this, guys. This one's an absolute dinosaur. No, I'm not joking, mate. This one's big. Absolute cracker, man. Come on, where is it? There, it's right underneath me. Check that out. This is a big one, guys. Come on. That is a big fish. Check this one out, guys. Oh, God. Look at that. That's a slab. That's a slab, Sam. Nice Holy shit. Excuse my French, guys. Woohoo. Oh. Just trying to get my rod in the holder. Get myself organized. Flip the camera, baby. Yeah. Check this one, this is the biggest one of the day. Check that one out, guys. That's the Zilla I was on about. Look at that. That is a cracker. That's a five pounder for sure. I'm gonna, <laughs> I can't believe I'm in. It's just a little hole down here. You wanna come and sit next to me, mate? Yeah, I'm going Woo, check that out, guys. I'm gonna keep this fish because I wanna get some pictures, but it's a bit sketchy on the uh, kayaks. So Cocker will have this one, or Captain Dano, he'll have this one for the pots. I'll get my pictures, you guys get some good content. That's what it's all about, smash fishing, baby. Ooh. Get this fish up really, uh, on hook now, guys. Oh God, he's smashing me to pieces, this thing. I'm gonna have to put him out of his misery quick. I'm gonna, I'm gonna knock him out. Oh, deed, he's dead now, guys. That is a cracker, I'm gonna weigh this when we get back. Get him on up. I think after this, all the all the fish now are going to be released. This is plenty of bait for Captain Dano. Just look at that. That's an absolute stonker of a fish. <laughs> and I, and it, well, I'm literally sight sight fishing for him. I can see him down there. I'm plopping it straight in front of their nose, and that's it. <laughs> Woo! Stay tuned, guys. I'm going to get this one in the hole. Hell yeah! Just about to put another half a crab on. I'm using half crabs now, guys. The stamp of fish here is absolutely outstanding. We didn't expect this. You can hear the uh, the kayak rattling. They're trying to jump out. I've already lost one fish. There you go, big baits. I can see another big one down there. Sean, guys. This one's not not as big as the last ones. It's a little weedy fish. I think all the fish now are going to be released. Nice little one there for you guys. Hey ho! There's a big one down there that keeps going near Sam's bait. So hopefully we can get him. That'll be a nice one to show, eh, mate? Bait. Huh? What bait? <laughs> Just nailed his bait off. Stay tuned, guys. We're gonna get into him. You got him? Yeah, it's only a little one. Sam's in, guys. Hey. Well done. Big jellies. Loads of jellies, eh? Yeah. Rock him with the jellies. The camera's on you, mate. Sam's fish, guys. Finally managed to christen one. Hopefully it's all good after that. 
They give good account of themselves so though, with that little one, he just went. <laughs> nice, well done mate. Stay tuned guys. We're gonna go get some more crabs in a minute because we are officially, I think we're, we're dead for crabs. I've got one. I've got Ow. whatever's left on my hook, that's it. We've been absolutely ravaged by these fish. Oh, there's a big one under there, look. There's big fish everywhere around here. We're gonna quickly pack up, guys. Get everything ready, we're gonna pop off, go fill our bucket up with bait again. We've just gone through about 30 crabs in the space of, what, 20 minutes? Yeah, something And like nailed about 10 fish. <laughs> Doing well so far, my legs are, are completely burnt. But hey, eh? Go get some crab, my boy. Stay tuned, guys. Start to collect a good amount of bait now, guys. If I can get that in the sunlight for you. Got shankers, lady crabs. In this rock pool, there is all sorts. There is rockling and what was that? There's a big crab under there. I'm gonna grab it. Look at that. That's what we want. Got a bit of rasp blood on me. I'm sorry about that, guys. I wanted to show you one of these rockling. They're an awesome looking fish. There we go. Go on. Look at that. Isn't that a cool fish? I would have thought that'd be good bait as well. We got the good old starfish. <laughs> All the little things you find in the rock pools. So I'm going to continue to find some more crabs. Wait for Sam to get back down. He's just moved the truck. As, oh no, he's back. We're back fishing again now, guys. Woo! Back at the same spot as before, guys. Got our bait at the ready. We went for a little drift about, casting in and out of the gullies and stuff, looking for some bass. But the bass are just not here. I think I think the whole place has just been a bit too public, if that's the word, eh? Yeah. There's too much kayaks and sort of Spinners. yeah, and paddle boards and stuff. Another good rasp bait, guys. A big old limpet with all the guts on. If there's any big ones down there, they'll have that off in no time. Seems to be a few small fish here at the moment. Not surprised, we've had a few big ones out of here so far. Could be worth heading to a different reef and trying out, but at the moment we're going to sit back, relax. And hopefully, hopefully we can hook a nice fish or two. Fish on guys! Oh, yeah. Just giving a good go. That's a nice one that eh? Oh, nice colours on it. Beautiful. Another nice fish guys. It's no monsters but hey ho. The fish are still here and they're coming up. That's what we want to see. Ooh. This was on small shankers. Great bait they are, very underestimated. And the method we're using is very underestimated as well. It's usually people will use sort of pat on oster rigs and stuff for wrasse. And all you need is a jig head, that's it, you don't need to go changing your setups. And you can enjoy some really good fishing from the wrasse. Look at that. Camo fish, baby. Woo! Just heading off to the other side of the reef now, guys. Seems like as the tides come up now, the uh, fish are moved. Either that or we've caught them all. My legs are wow burnt. Trying to protect myself with my hat and my long sleeve top and I end up bloody burning the hell out of my legs. That's typical. Ooh. Nice drop off here. So I'm staying in the same spot. I don't want to do that. I want to fish. Ooh, what's down there? There is millions of sand dealers down here. Could be a good spot, guys. Stay tuned. I'll update you once I get to the spot. Sam's in, guys. Got another little one. <laughs> Go on, mate. Another little tiny ras, guys. Woo! We're after the big ones at the moment. I'm on a nice little shelf here, so I might anchor up here. Got a dropping down, see if I can get a few. Stay tuned, guys. Me and Sam Woo! are definitely sailing the high seas now, guys. Both got a rod out. 
we're cruising along, just hoping for a few bass or one even, just to finish the day off. We're gonna track it all through the rocks, all through the little outlets and stuff. And hopefully we can uh, hook into a fish or two. But if not, we've had a fantastic day on the wrasse fishing. But as all fishermen, we always want that last fish, the luxury one. <laughs> hey Sam, we want that monster, my boy. The last minute monster. Stay tuned, guys. We'll let you know if we get anything. Still trolling, guys. No fish yet. Must have trolled for about, I don't know, a good half an hour. Over good ground that we've usually catch a lot of bass, but surprisingly we didn't get a munch on today. It's not the best bass conditions, but you never know, you still get them in the daytime. That's some good fun on the rass, that's for sure. So stay tuned when we get to the beach, we'll give you a show of the catch and what Sam caught before. Hell That's yeah. all for today's episode, guys. First trip out on the kayaks for smash fishing. We've got a nice video for you. I hope you enjoyed this one. There's going to be plenty more to come. Some nice wrasses today. Shame there weren't no bass. Yeah. We've seen a lot though, eh, mate? Oh, yeah. We've seen mullet, we've seen sand eels, the whole works. But no, we have one wrasse about four pound, four and a half, something like that, eh? That was the biggest one I've Yeah, the rest about two and a half, three pound. I'd say more leaning towards two and a half. They're still enjoyable. It gives us a good uh, go ahead to uh, start slaying out loads of videos now. We'll definitely be trying a bit of bream fishing or some bass fishing or even ray fishing, eh? Yeah, there's a mark we can go to to try and get some ray or bull hoss. So we'll definitely be giving that a go. So stay tuned for the next episode, guys. We'll leave uh, the pictures at the back of this video of the fish so you can have a peek. If you like my channel, like, subscribe. It's Smash Fishing.